Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I have a different video because I finally caved and I purchased a Hobonichi Techo 2022 Cousin and this is an A5 size. Um, the international size is still confused the heck out of me. So <laughs> that's I just want to preface by saying that because I am not super versed in international sizing with planners or anything like that. Um, I still get super confused and uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So I'm sure you have seen an unboxing of this planner before, but I'll quickly go over it because I want to do a really fun um, plan with me. I'm going to plan the month of February and do like a plan ahead with everything that I have usually do in my monthly section. And since February just happened, um, or, you know, we just got into February because this year is already flying, but... I want to go ahead and do that and I figured why not film it? This is going to be new. It's going to be a process for me. <laughs> so um, there might be a lot of like editing throughout, but this is a very new planner for me and I'm confident enough to just do whatever looks good um, and just have fun with it. So I think taking you along with me on this process will be kind of fun to watch. Um, I certainly love watching people just go crazy and be creative and... Um, just kind of go with the flow. There's no structure to anything and it's just really fun to watch their process. So hopefully you enjoy this video as well and that um, it inspires you to possibly get a Hobonichi Cousin or just a Hobonichi Planner. I did use the Hobonichi Weeks like two years back. It's been a long time, but I did have a really fun time using that planner. It was really popular for a little bit and I think it's kind of the Hobonichi and this Tomorrow River paper is just starting to kind of make a comeback. Um, I've seen lately just in the community, I, this like blew up um, a couple of months ago. Um, it probably has been very popular even before that, but that's just when I noticed it. So with that being said, um, you have the years at a glance here. So you have the current year we're in, um, 2021 and then 2023. And then I think this is just um, all the months at a glance. Yeah, so January to June and then um, July to December. Um, you can use this like to mark like important dates, birthdays, etc. This is going to be a very functional planner for me. I certainly still use my pocket planner. Um, I've done videos on this before um, and I just picked this back up again because I have been so behind with playing with planners and using them. Um, if you follow me on YouTube, I've talked in some of my voiceovers about how I certainly use my phone calendar to mark all of my bills and really important things. And then of course with work, I have an actual work calendar on my computer, like an Outlook that I literally live by. It's like my Bible. So um, I use that, but this is really, really functional and nice for me just, you know, functionally. And I'm trying to get back into this too. And I love it. I love the size. It's just so fun. Um, if you love planners and covers, I think you understand like just that, like popping that open. It's just such a satisfying feeling. Um, and just holding a planner, there's just something so calming and like beautiful about it. I don't know how to describe it, um, but it might be silly. To some people but we are all here because we love planners so I think you guys understand where I'm coming from. So with that being said um, this is going to be a very functional planner for me as well just because in a pocket I'm very limited in writing space because it's so small. You saw it in comparison to this it's tiny. So just like one sheet of paper is so so small. Um, it's like a quarter of this. <laughs> so um, an A5 size is a tad bigger than a B6, which you guys know I've loved my B6 size. It's kind of like what I always go back to. My notebook that I use for work is actually a B6 size. It's a B6 um, disc. Uh, yeah, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, B6 disc. And, or, um, I think it's, is that what it's called? I don't know, half letter. So you guys know I was using like my half letter with the discs, but I did recently also um, pick up the B6 in the discs. <laughs> it's really hard to say. Okay, so... Here is the December month. Um, I think it's cool that they provided this month as well, even though this is technically a 2022 planner. Um, you have January, which, you know, we're already done with, but I might actually play around and do like a highlights um, every day because I, I watched this one YouTuber, um, I, forgive me, but I completely forgot her name, um, but I was just scrolling through YouTube, like I searched Hobonichi Cousin, and I just started watching a ton of videos for inspiration. I personally love watching videos because I love seeing the process of things. It's one thing to see a photo on Instagram, but it's a completely different thing to see it on a video because watching the process is like no other, and it's really, really fun and cool, and it just like kind of like... Um, stirs up the creative juices in my opinion so love that um here is the january and then here 
or here is the January here <laughs> here is now February so I'm gonna go ahead and do like a pre-plan here um, we're uh, on January 4th as I'm actually filming this so I've only missed like a couple of days so you get the whole um, month on or all the months in the first section this is my first time really going through this so you're going to see my initial reactions and then here is the weekly starting December 1st which is pretty cool um oh no yeah is it December 1st no hold on hold on yeah so I think it's the last week of December yep it's the last week of December that they included because it still includes like January 1st um so that's what they did and then of course where I am I have to get used to this. <laughs> um, here is where we are. So uh, this will be really cool. I love watching Helen of the Coffee Monsters Co. and then Randy, um, Randy Dot Plans use this planner. Um, it is so cool. It's so inspiring. I also love how um, Coco of, uh, Connie of Coco Plans decorates this. Katie of um, I think Plans with Katie. She has beautiful Hobonichi Cousin spreads too. These are some people that I've just noticed in the community that were a big part of, you know, using stickers in like an A5, um, like a the traditional like A5 wide planner that you guys watch my videos on um, where I do traditional plan with me's like weekly plan with me's. And I just, I, I love seeing their transition into this Hobonichi Cousin. It's just so pretty. I am so, so inspired all the time. So you get all of your weeks and then you get into... The dailies which i'm so inspired to use the dailies because that's where i see a lot of the most beautiful spreads um some people actually do you know like journaling here and i think that's really cool i think lindsay's uh lindsay scribbles i think is her name i love her stuff too she has beautiful really creative very inf informative um videos i really love watching her stuff she uses a pocket as well um she journals and she does uh use the hobonichi cousin and also someone else is mandy plans i love mandy plans she just recently did um like posted something in her hobonichi weeks and just seeing how she lays down stickers and she's got a very journal aesthetic i love that and it's just so inspiring so all of these beautiful amazing women i've mentioned <laughs> um have been using this and i've just been so inspired um and they have truly been some of the main ones that have really pushed me to go ahead and bite the bullet and use this so here we are so here is february um, i might go back and journal some of these days um not really sure how comfortable i feel about actually writing out my thoughts and journal prompts and stuff like that um tay recently just posted a ton of journal videos so definitely watch them they're short they're very concise they're beautiful um and it's just really really cool to see her process of laying down the stickers and her vision is always so creative and then her writing um i think is really inspiring and really cool but personally i don't know my comfort level with that yet i might personally just put down the stickers and take photos <laughs> and then do the journaling afterwards but that's a whole process in itself as well um, someone else who also writes on camera is Lindsay of Lindsay Scribbles, like I said, and um, Mandy, Mandy Plans, so I, or Mandy Dreams, and I just love seeing them work. It's just, it's really cool. Um, Helen of the Coffee Monsters Co., she has a lot of very in-depth videos using um, her weekly and daily, and she's so creative. I'm sure you guys all know Helen of the Coffee Monsters Co. by now, but she's just so incredibly talented. <laughs> I really wish I um, could draw, write, and things like her. She's just so amazing but um here is today and I don't know what I'm gonna do yet um I'm gonna play around with this and see how I like it I might go pick up I think it's the Midori um clear cover because I just don't want this to get dirty um being on like several surfaces but I don't know if I necessarily want a like traditional cover for this yet because I kind of like the seamless look like you don't have a cover peeping from the back it just depends on how I want to photograph this moving forward and if I end up just making this predominantly like personal and functional not really sure but here we are with 20 million different planners as always and it's just fun it's exciting you know so in the back um we just have some random things it is not in English so I'm not going to pretend like I know um here I was like testing pens um so these were the four pens that I used or four I can't count um these were the five pens that I used so they the only ones that did not smear were this sarasa dry and then the uni pen um because the one this is a marker um this one is a 0.4 so maybe that's why i didn't smudge because i do like like thicker pen points um or tips so this is a 0.4 it did not smudge it was these two and um the muji came out very light 
um, surprisingly, on this um, tomorrow, is it tomorrow river paper? I don't know, probably. Um, and then it it's more gray in my opinion and it smudged as well, not major. This is the uh, Zebra Sarasa. This is what I use in my regular Plan With Me is um, when I use like sticker kits and it's smudged. <laughs> it's definitely thicker. Um, I think this is like a 0.5, um, but I, I'm obsessed with this pen. I use this in my pocket. Um, let's see. I actually, yeah, I have a second one in my pocket here and it's the vintage colorway. So um, I really love the other colors, but I might have to switch out the ink refills because I don't like that they have just like, you know, if you get like a vintage red, it's going to have red ink. I don't use red ink. So um, anyways, I hate my handwriting with this um, Energel Klenna and Helen of the Coffee Monsters Co. actually got me onto this. She uses this pen and her handwriting is phenomenal with it. Mine just isn't. It just, it's, it just isn't. Um, I don't like how it looks. Um, but I do, I am quite surprised with this, um, Kokoyu? Kokuyu. Kokuyo. Kokuyo. Everybody say that, please. Um, <laughs> but I, I do like this one. It's 0.5 and it was this here. I liked how it writes. Um, I think I got this from Peach Mom, uh, but I, I don't um, know how I feel 100% yet because it's still very new to me and it did smudge. The main one that smudged the worst was clearly this um, Zebra Sarasa. Um, it's just, the way the ink comes out, it's just a lot thicker and heavier in my opinion. Um, my terminology and descrip descriptive, descriptions, descriptives, what am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Um, it might be completely off, but overall, um, I have so many of these Sarasa Dry um, pens, and they work very well on this paper, so I am excited. We'll see. Here is all of my beautiful, crazy journaling stuff. Um, you can see my tripod here. I apologize for that, um, but this is in like this matte black um, like grid tray cart thing. I don't know. Whatever. This basket, and um, I got this wood um, like file holder. This is actually from Goodwill. I got this for like three dollars. It's great. Um, this is actually where I was doing my traditional journaling, like just art journaling. I know some people like laugh at that term, but whatever. Um, it makes me happy. It's all I care about. But <laughs> basically, I lay down like um, papers that I've like accumulated and saved. Um, a lot of this is from White Deer Stationery. I save all of her brown paper that she puts her orders in. Um, and a lot of this other stuff I've gotten from some shops that um, I've picked up journaling items from. A lot of these are also from AliExpress, like the washi, um, all the other different things. But this is just really fun for me. I love it. This is my B6ology. And with that being said, let me compare the sizing with the B6 on the left here and then this A5 on the right. So it's not that much bigger, um, but it certainly is a difference. I will say I think I'm going to enjoy having more space to write in this A5, um, but I just love the way like a B6 fits in my hand. It's just really nice. Um, like it's also pretty close to a pocket. I know this isn't a true pocket size because it's of the cover, but um, I love it. I think it's just all really fun. I'm so like sorry that my this video is all over the place but I think that's actually what makes this a little bit more fun too um love this I burned the edges here I was using this guy here um inspired to pick this up from Mandy of Mandy Plans or Mandy Dreams and I have never turned away since um and then also want to share these beauties so um hold on where, where are they where did they go did I, did I put them somewhere else okay I think I did but I have oh no where are they hmm. hold on be right back let me go look for them Okay, I'm slightly going to freak out because I cannot find my calligraphy pens. Um, anyways, shout out to Alicia. Um, she's one of my great friends. Uh, Alicia Sadie Sticker, she bought me these two pens for my birthday. So, my birthday last year. So, um, anyways, I will find them. They're somewhere in my office. I hope I find them. But, anywho, um, I just use a traditional glue stick, by the way, when it comes to journaling. Um, at least in my b 6 Please hold. My dog wants to come into the room. Hold on. Come on, baby. Oh, you got your bone. Hi. All right, mom is gonna get back to filming. Okay. Do you need any, Do you need anything else? Okay. All right, guys. I'm back. <laughs> um, but like I was saying, I would just use a traditional glue stick. I've seen a lot of people um, just use glue sticks when they journal. Oh, wow. Derp a derp. 
there are the pens. <sighs> wow, Whew, so glad I found them. Anyway, so here's a Twisby, really beautiful, and here's the LeMay, Lamy, I don't know. Um, but I love them, they're both white. Shout out to Alicia, like I said, they're beautiful. This rose gold and white, I just wanted and had to have. I wonder how this, how these calligraphy pens will um, work on the Cousin, or like the Tomorrow River paper. Um, we shall see. But anyways, this is probably my favorite section of this B6 Dology journal page that I've done. Here, just, here are a few more. Let's see. Yeah, oh, these were some of my OGs. Oof, let's not think about that. Um, but <laughs> it just shows like how far I've come, just like planning with stuff and just getting the right kinds of items. Um, I was going crazy at one point on AliExpress and just getting a ton of stuff. But Oh, I love this. This is so beautiful. I think it turned out really, really good. And I was using stamps and just washi and layering. And I think that's just really fun. Um, yeah, but we shall see. Anyways, um, here's my B6ology. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and kind of play around with all of these goodies. I also picked up like a random book from Goodwill. Let's see. So I could just like tear out paper. That's just another recommendation i also save like strips like this from when i've cut up paper before to make um, other projects whoops that just fell everywhere and i just kind of save everything i have some like starbucks um like starbucks cup like papers i don't know all of this stuff is really cool and fun to just play around with and utilize and like i said even if you have like receipts from like stores or starbucks or wherever you go and saving them and putting them in your journal our journal it's really fun to play with and just like mess around with it so i'm gonna go ahead and um decorate my february section and i really hope that you enjoy Just can't hold candle to. I really hope he makes you happy. Yeah. Cause it's not always an easy thing to do. It knows just what he signed up for. Cause I sure hate to have to be the one to break the news. Cause this time I'm gonna say everything. I never said to you You think you broke my heart But I think it's time you knew I'm better without you You, you You think you broke my heart But I think it's time you knew I'm better without you I'm better without you 